Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to the Creek Zoo. Um, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm just doing the promo right now. You can subscribe to my channel, you can like this video, you can comment on this video what you think of it, and you can follow my second channel, it's in the description down below. So um, right now I was fixing some problems with our zoo. So apparently um, you can manage population, which is amazing. And I only want one of each. These can stay. And if I'm correct, the other one will... There you go, look. That's the way now. I think I did just remove the wrong one. That's fine. And we are going to do that on our other exhibit as well. That is somewhere here in the beginning. Any other babies that are born and grown up can instantly leave. I'm quite happy with that. Though perhaps this one's already an elderly, so let's not make that an exception. Uh, we have some broken vending machines. We already have a mechanic on that. And our zoo keeps getting bigger. Ignore this little structure there. That's nothing. That's just if I want to build another dome. So we have actually quite a big zoo. Obviously the entrance here. We have a second entrance over here. And I was thinking perhaps um, somewhere in the near future we should build another entrance somewhere here or in the back. We'll see how long it takes for us to get there. Our most appealing species is still the polar bear, which I understand because polar bears are amazing and obviously the bow constructor is our most appealing exhibit species, which makes sense because we only have two exhibit animals. So now our Asian clawed otters are still doing amazing. That's good. And our elephants are also doing amazing, which I'm really happy about as well. Although their last meal quality wasn't that good, so let's just see if we can change that. Uh, yes, we can. Let's do it to grade two. And we'll also call the keeper, uh, because I believe these animals are hungry. Obviously, people aren't here yet, because there's nothing for the people here. Yeah, so we need to build something here that will attract people um, to that area. Now I was thinking, um, obviously we need a small animal. I was thinking we could put a, a pangolin in here because they're really cute. Oh, let me fix this. Where are they fine? Let's see if there are actually pangolins in the market. Oh, how do I spell it? Ah, it was an A. There are. No. Oh. Okay, um, <coughs> why would I buy this one? Obviously, I need to buy this one then. And then a male. Um, now, they don't need a lot of space. I know that, so that's pretty good. Um, we can use these wood logs. So, you know, just like this. It just needs to be a bit shallow. Ah! See, that's what I wanted. Just a little, oh, the elephant. Just a little bit of water. Vet research. Ah, moose. There come my pangolins. I'm just gonna release my beavers. Now let's see if they actually like this. The space is good. They can enter on all these levels. That's good as well. Obviously the terrain is not to their liking, but we'll work on that. So for now, uh, let's keep it a little bit paused. It's a shame that that tree is there, isn't it? There. And we're gonna build a little shelter using rocks. Let's scroll down to our template rocks. <laughs> Ooh, and let's not align the surface. I'm just gonna build a little shelter for them. There, and they can get in there, can't they? Let's see if they can. Yes, they can, so they have heart shelter now, that's good. That's their heart shelter now. Um, 
I could use the same rocks as there, but I really don't want to. Let's just see where my favorite rock formation is. I really like this one. I love the colors of it. Well, <laughs> there. Just put it a little bit like that, and then we can fill this up with some more rocks on top of that. But at least it looks a little bit more natural. Or at least I hope it does. Same with in the water here, just place some rocks. And I hope it will look a little bit more natural. Obviously there will need to be place elements of plants. So let's see what kind of plants they like. Tropical, temperate, that's perfect. Oh, and I can place it all the way full. That's nice as well. <laughs> oh, let's see, I do want these aligned to the surface. Uh, let's use this bamboo bushes. We can lower them in here. Now, oh, and I said aligned surface, but perhaps I don't want that. We can place this dead cherry tree here. And this one can be placed there. Now let's go back to our brackens. Uh, place them just like this. Never actually seen a pangolin in real life. I, I used to think they were armadillos, but they're not. But I do think they look like armadillos. So uh, who knows? I have no clue, that's for sure. Large buffalo grass. Ooh, this could be cool to put on top of the hair. So that you have the illusion of tall grass, but you don't have actually have tall grass. That's pretty cool. Ah. Apart from this bit, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's dried out. We don't want that. You could even place some of these. I have the feeling they live in a very um, swampy-like manner right now. I'm not sure if that's correct, but that's the vibe that I'm going for. Let's see, put these reed bits here. One or two here. And a couple more here. Just like that. Um, we can even put this one. I love to sink this one in like I did with the uh, otter habitat. Or the small clawed otter. I should say it correctly. Uh, I know these are like the trademark of our zoo, but we could just place them there. That's fine. Let's just place one of two here. Not in the trash bin, please. Oh, you can place the last one there. There. Now, I love these Dutch uh, Dutchman's uh, flowers. They look really cute. But I do like them better when they're like this. You saw like the little bit of color that you would need in here, like a little bit of pop. There. Now I'm actually recording this on my birthday, so happy birthday to me! Even though uh, you're seeing this a week later, so it's like a week ago that I have my birthday for you. <laughs> uh, feels so old now. I'm now officially older than a quarter of a century, so death is near. Ah. Uh. Now, I plan on doing nothing for my birthday, and I feel like that's a very good plan. Just want to play some games. And I'm gonna cook myself a delicious meal. I have it all planned out. I'm going to make this really soft meat with uh, potatoes and lots of vegetables. Ah, oh, I love it. I've never made it before, but my parents gave me this new uh, pan. I know, like, you know, when you're an adult, when you get a pan for your birthday, and you're excited about it, but this is a really cool pan, so 
It's like this, um, a bit of a, like a pan where you can make a lot of stews in, but it's perfect for this type of meat as well. So that's pretty cool and I'm really excited to use it. And I've never made it and the meat is kind of expensive, so I just hope that I can use it. I don't want to be ruining the meat because it was really expensive. But you know, it's only your birthday one time a year, so I figured um, I'm just gonna allow myself to have expensive meat for my birthday. There. Now I need to remember that guests actually want to see this animal, so I can't be stuffing it full with plants and everything. But just a little bit of color in here should be fine. Now let's... Ah, uh, this looks very pretty. Now let's make sure uh, that the terrain is actually to their liking. Which, let's check what the other one's actually. Uh, terrain paint. Obviously in here this is a cave so it's gonna be rocky. They don't mind rock, uh, they love soil and a tiny bit of grass. Okay. Let's make it all soil first and then we can cut out what to do. Okay, bit of grass, I think we put grass over here. Oh no, it's too much grass, that's annoying. It's too much sand, ah! Too much grass again, oh my gosh. There, now it's perfect. Okay, um, given the amount of soil and everything that we have, let's just see how this affects their walkable area, because I have no clue actually. It doesn't, okay, that's good. Or does it? No, it doesn't, no, a tiny bit, you can't access here anymore. Oh. Um, I feel like I need a little bit more plants. No, wait, actually, I'm gonna place their feeder uh, things first. So start with food and water, feeding station, large, always large. Let's place it there. Uh, water stations, obviously, I'm gonna use this little, or I'm gonna use this pipe. With where to place it is the question. Let's place it here. Um, do they actually need uh, coolers? I have no clue actually. Let's check the Zoopedia for the temperature. 12 to 42. Yeah, we are in a temperate, so they're gonna need some heaters. Let's see, heaters. Uh, I wanna place one there. It's, just, it's not a big habitat, so three heaters should be fine. Beds and shelter, obviously, uh, in here. Just like that, and they can still enter here, can't they? Let's just check to be sure. Uh, habitat. They can, that's good. Loves meal quality. Dude, you never had a meal never had a meal, so what up? Uh, don't need shelters, enrichments. I do love placing this. Uh, let's place it here then. Uh, a slow feeder, I like that as well. I need to make sure that the keepers can access it too. And a termite now, so if we place that here. And then the toys, the keepers don't necessarily need to access that, so we can place that here. And the herb scent, we can place there. We can place the rubber ducky inside here. So that it looks floating. And we can give them like a bowl, which we can place there. Oh, and a sprinkler! I love sprinklers. Uh, let's see, what else? Climbable? No, they don't have anything climbable. Okay, let's just see uh, what this does to their walkable area. Why do you feel you have too much grass? There. Okay, 
okay now the big question is what do i feel like it like it's not this is very green and this isn't but if i were to place a lot of plants here you probably wouldn't be able to see the pangolins anymore and i feel like the gas would be more bummed out by that now let's put a glass in here it's obstructed no oh, wait because it's the Put it on the door. Okay, well, time to do it one panel at a time. <laughs> ah. Then I can see which panel it is. Probably one in the corners. Or no, it means probably the last one. Ah, it's this one, because it's on... Don't know why. Okay, well then this one can give them a little bit of pride. Wait, I know what I can do. They don't need that big of a barrier. This one could just like go down here. I mean, I say they don't need big of a barrier. I have no clue actually, so... Where are my pangolins? And there is one. Oh, two meters. Never mind. <laughs> and it needs to be climb proof. Oh. Didn't know they could climb. Wait, but they can't escape, so. It's fine. Look, they can't get out of here, so that's completely fine. This is unaccessible for them. Still not accessible. Oh, it's because of that enrichment item, obviously. Um, I'll just place it there then, that means it is accessible now. And that means I can place... Um, well, technically I could place another tree here. Just see. Um, no, actually, I want to place one of these then. There. Oh, my elephant is about to mate. That's good. Now, I don't believe I have a. Oh, habitat cleans. I mean, there are probably like a lot of penguins in here. No, only 24. That's not too bad. Um, I don't have a keeper's hat anywhere. So what would be the best way to place one? Oh, wait, I do. I have this one. Never mind. I'm such an idiot. Wow. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Stuff. Work zones. New work zone. You can do that one as well. Uh, if I could edit it, that would be great. Pen golem. Yeah, zero staff. I am aware of that. Um, staff. Let's put another caretaker on this path. Oh, look, people are walking up. That's nice. A keeper. Uh, I don't know why I put a security guy there. I meant to click on mechanic. And a vet. I mean, know that after... Oh, they're going to eat an, an elephant. Oh. Know that after uh, I finish most of the zoos, I'm gonna abandon old work zones and create better work zones, because right now the work zones aren't that good. Now, what's left? Hopefully we have power up here. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
We'll see, we'll see. We need some donation bins, obviously. Uh, let's grab these. Now, benches are there on the other side, so we don't necessarily need those. Oh, see, I have power there. That's good. I still have power here. That's good as well. Uh, let's see if I have power uphill. I do! I'm very surprised by this, to be honest. I thought I didn't have any power here. Oh, uh, my horses are about to inbreed. Oh well. I actually have power. I've got the power. Okay, hello, can I please select this? <laughs> ah, the golem. Uh, by the way, I have no clue if, I pro if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Could also be a pangolin, pangolin. I have no clue. Like I said, I always thought this animal was an armadillo. It turns out it's not. There. You could place one bench here. And perhaps one here. There. Isn't this cute? Oh look, it's swimming! That is adorable! Look at this adorable little pangolin. Cute, it's smaller than the actual rubber duck I put there. That is so cute. Now, where is your little friend? Because you are a female, where is the male? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there he is! Oh, look, he's going to sleep! Oh, three branches. Oh, that is so adorable. Look at that. Oh wait, he's not going to sleep. I, I spooked him. He's gonna do other stuff. I don't know why, but this little animal makes me very happy. Look how cute he is. He's gonna play with the box. Is he? Yes, he is. No, wait, he's not. Yes, he is. Go on, play with the box. Jump, jump. Ooh, don't know what that noise was. Yeah, look! So cute. Well, that was enough playtime for him. Let's see what his wife is doing. She was here. Oh, there she is. She is going to enjoy the heat. Well, I really like this. This is really cute. I don't think a lot of people will be actually uh, will be actually checking them out, but they're on the way. Oh no, not it's lagging again. Something I believe something's up with the server here because it says my internet, but my internet is fine, so it can't be that. She's gonna have offspring. We're gonna have little baby elephants. And the vending machine broke, obviously. Perhaps we should place um, vending machines back here as well. Uh, guest facilities, rooms. Don't know who would buy fries from vending machines. I'd rather buy donuts from the vending machine. Actually, I'd rather buy nothing from the vending machine, but okay. That's fantastic. Just a moment of three. See, that's good. Best day ever. Ah. Oh. And still, no one is checking out my condolence. Come on, people. They're cute. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. We think they're cute. That's what's important. Look at them go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and possibly subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my second channel. It is also linked in the description down below. <laughs> Bye, guys.